Praise the Lord, precious saints. And today, I'd like to do a specific prayer, praying for deliverance from evil eyes and monitoring eyes of darkness. We will see that these evil eyes, these monitoring of darkness is also connected to monitoring spirits. Now, monitoring spirit is a weapon of witchcraft attack that manipulates its victim to disrupt their life by making them maybe miss their blessings, uh, have failure, frustration, and they pick and obviously their victims of monitoring spirits can also tell of the terrible things that take place. But we're going to focus on the monitoring of evil eyes. So the evil eye is also a supernatural belief in a curse brought about by a witch, by, a, by an agent of Satan, um, that uses somebody that gives somebody an evil glare. So usually inspired by envy, the belief in the evil eye among humans has existed for a long time. And there are amulets and things that have these evil eyes on them that if you glare at them too, they can also bring about the same effect and it goes back through many ancient history through greek roman jewish islamic hindu and buddhism cultures etc 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 it's there amongst those superstitious things but it's basically brought about by envy jealousy evil eye glance believed to have the ability even to cause injury or death they're basically putting a hex or a vex upon someone they have evil monitoring eyes to access and control men's affairs to do their evil wishes so the demons work coincide with these evil agents or people but there is power in god to destroy them and to deliver their victims these things only have power over those who have gained authority over men because of doors of sin or lukewarm christians to steal kill and to destroy uh to dishonor to remove their dignity and remove their blessings so such wicked people are real and they operate every now the bible says according to proverbs 23 verse 6 it says eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye neither desire nor his daily meats so while the literal meaning is one who has an evil eye it is also an expression of somebody that is stingy selfish jealous and so forth so uh the bible also tells us uh according to the parab uh, the parable in matthew 20 and in the very last verse in verse 15 it says is it not lawful for me to do what i wish with my own things or is your eye evil because i am good so here we see in this parable which typically an evil eye accusation is employed to denounce envy as uh this situation with the kingdom of heaven in the parable that it's talking about but have you experienced sudden headaches that does not go away with just a painkiller unexplained drowsiness an, an unbearable stomach ache, annoying feelings or weaknesses, unbearable dizziness, feeling of suffocation, uh, high blood pressure, uh, discomfort, um, any of these type of causes that may not necessarily be connected to a sickness, but are attributed maybe suddenly by an evil eye. Are you a victim? Do you feel the sign of their manipulation at times? Maybe it's someone in the workplace. Maybe it's someone around you. It could be household wickedness. It could be someone across the road. It could be uh, it could be someone that you just met for the first time. So if you are living under this type of curse, I would encourage you uh, to listen to this prayer so that we can break and remove from your life every curse, every negative force of jealousy, envy, anger, hatred, revenge, any type of negative thing that is coming against your life. Now, God's word has power to wade off the effect of evil eye and their intentions against your life. So may God have mercy upon us as we step in and pray right now. Let us pray 
precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, today your warriors prepare for battle each day, and today we come before you as no different. Today we claim victory over Satan by putting on the whole armor of God. We put on the belt of truth that we may be able to stand in the truth of your word so that we will not be a victim of satan's lies today we put on the breastplate of righteousness may it guard our hearts from evil so that we will remain pure and holy protected under your precious blood we put on the shoes of peace today that we may be able to stand firm in the good news of the gospel so that your peace will shine through us and be a light to all that we may encounter today we take the shield of faith that we may be ready for satan's fiery darts of doubt denial and deceit so that we will not be vulnerable to spiritual defeat today we put on the helmet of salvation that we may keep our mind focused on you so that satan will not have a stronghold on our thoughts any longer we take the sword of the spirit and may the two-edged sword of your word be ready in our hands so that we can expose the tempting words of satan by faith your warriors will put on the whole armor of God today as we prepare to take battle today in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for sending your Son. Please forgive us of all the times that we have not submitted to your will within our lives. And please forgive us for all our sinful actions, making agreements with the enemy and for believing the devil's lies when we didn't put on our full armor. And now we submit to you as our Lord Jesus today dear Jesus now we break every agreement that we have made with the enemy Lord Jesus please have your warring angels remove and bind to the abyss all demons and the devices that had access to us because we believed in their lives we now ask you to establish a hedge of protection around us over us under us and seal it with your blood today in the name of Jesus Christ we now choose to put on this full armor as we have placed it on and clean us and seal us our body mind soul and spirit with your blood lord jesus please have your warring angels bind up or remove all demons their devices their attachments and all their power from within this protective hedge right now in the name of jesus christ please have your warrior angels destroy all demonic occult or witchcraft assignments directed against us including all backups and replacements please have your warrior angels remove all trafficking monitoring spirits that have been sent lord to us to come against us to monitor us and to send information back today in the name of jesus christ we break the power of all curses spells hexes charms vows incantations obia and all voodoo or jinxes potions bewitchments death destruction demon torment all witchcraft today to be broken in the name of jesus christ we declare that they cannot prosper against us our family our marriages our business our education our finances and they are powerless this day in the name of jesus christ lord we cast away every diabolical action every satanic attack every evil plot every evil curiosity and harm and spell of the evil eye caused by malicious and evil people from each person listening today in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ lord stretch forth your mighty hand and your strong arm from on high and keep watch over this your people and we rebuke every wicked intention every sorcery and the evil eye of destruction and envious men from them today in the name of jesus christ for the lord is our helper and we shall not be afraid what can man do to us well we shall fear no evil for you are with us lord 
You are our God, our strength, our mighty counselor, our prince of peace, the father of the age to come. So any demonic eye monitoring our destiny shall go blind today. Any blood sucking demons, every monitoring demons hanging around us, they shall now catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every witchcraft conspiracy to bring down our family shall collapse any altar that is speaking against us. Lord, it must catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall locate and destroy every evil power that is diverting what is rightfully yours right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power fighting against your increase shall fall down also and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of shame and disgrace shot against you and your family shall also be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil conspiracy to multiply your challenges shall also be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stubborn problem in your destiny and that of your family shall end today in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall fast forward his vengeance against the enemies of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall arise and judge every enemy of your destiny today in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall no more have efforts without results today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic rearrangement of your family and destiny shall be burnt by the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil man that is holding what belongs to you or your family shall be rendered, rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, this day and each and every day, we bind Satan, all territorial spirits, the ruler spirits on assignment against our family members, our spouse, our children, our relative, our friends, our acquaintances, all territorial spirits, all eavesdroppers, all watchers, all scanners, all trackers, all monitoring spirits and any divination spirits, all unholy spirits above, around and below them and their assignments, their blueprints, their plots, their plans, their designs against us or any of us, we loose us from them and bind them from retaliating. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we curse it at the roots right now, all of their seedings, works, plans and activities and we call them all cancelled, made null and void today, never to manifest or come to pass. We cast down as vain thoughts and imaginations, never seeded and do not receive them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic spirit of sabotage, betrayal, secret plans, undermining, be confused and dismantled by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that this day that your breakthrough, what the devil meant for bad, Lord God, you're going to turn it around and use for good. God's mercies are new every morning and we thank you, Lord. Lord, we won't let the enemy take our joy away because we know today that the devil is out of our life because your job and our friends and our family and our loved ones today, he shall not come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the devil at times we know will attack us hard, but Lord, we do not give permission for him to come against us through the blood of Jesus Christ today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you today, Father, that you are in control in Jesus' mighty name. We pray today according to Colossians 1.16, five for by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him today. Heavenly Father, thank you for Colossians 2.15 says, he disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to an open shame by triumphing over them in him. We thank you, Lord, that you have made it 
possible by going to the cross to defeat the powers of the enemy today in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as you said, according to 1 Timothy 1.18, as Paul says to Timothy, this charge I entrust you, Timothy, my child, in accordance with the prophecies previously made of you, that by them you may wage a good warfare. Heavenly Father, we come against the plans of the enemy today. We bind him right now in in the name of Jesus Christ, every attack that is coming against your people today, we bind all those forces today in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand with the power of our Lord God Almighty and I bind Satan and all his evil spirits, demonic forces, satanic powers, principalities, along with all kings and princes of terrors from the air, water, fire, ground, and the evil forces of nature. I take a authority over all demonic assignments and functions of distraction sent against each person and I expose all demonic forces as weakened, defeated enemies of Jesus Christ. We stand with the power of the Lord God Almighty to bind all forces of darkness and any enemies of Christ present together all demonic entities under their one and highest authority we command these spirits today to be bound in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind you with a threefold cord right now in the name of Jesus Christ and we cast you back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ because your assignments and influences are over today and today we arise today with the power of our Lord God Almighty to call forth the heavenly hosts, the holy angels of God to surround and protect and to cleanse us with God's holy light in all areas vacated by forces of evil today. And we ask the Holy Spirit to permeate our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our soul and our spirit, creating a hunger and a thirst for God's holy word and to fill us with the life and the love of all today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the enemy has no great way into our life today. Pray that every open portal be closed today in the name of Jesus Christ and that no access will be given to the enemy to destroy our lives or hinder our blessings today in the name of Jesus Christ. But today we shall be fully sustained by your supernatural provision, O oh Lord, because you are Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. And you're going to send down your provisions to all your people from anything that has been blocking our ways to your blessings today in the name of Jesus. We declare today that we are more than conquerors and you will touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet as you bless them today in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Repentance Revival. It is time to catch the fire of Repentance Revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can follow us on TikTok. You can follow our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, this weekend is the three-day fasting for January. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to join in. You'll find the link in the pinned comment section so that you can press in and join us for as much as we're going to press in and believe God for our miracles. Place your prayer list into the Bible and allow God to answer them so that you can focus on the Bible program and the prayer points to push through to greater things. And get ready, I'm about to travel to the nations again as God is moving us into the direction of Asia. May the Lord bless each person today. And I encourage you to play this over and over again in your cars, in your homes, in your sleep, wherever it is. The devil cannot touch you because there is a bloodline of Jesus Christ that surrounds you and protects you. And greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. Be encouraged. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.